Hi, I'm Harry. I'm Jen. And I'm Scott. And, and we, we are, are the, the Spray, Spray Dudes. Today, someone's going to get wet. Hitting small grass weeds in the spring can be a particularly difficult challenge for spray operators. Whilst the crop and weeds are both small, it's relatively easy to get good, even coverage across the leaf. But as the crop shoots away through stem extension, it can be particularly difficult to get penetration through the canopy and hit the weed. Not to worry though, we've got a couple of tools at our disposal. And they are nozzle choice and sprayer pressure. When using a nozzle with a fine droplet, the herbicide tends to be caught in the canopy of the crop and struggles to get through and hit the small weed at the bottom. When using an Amistar nozzle with a slightly coarser droplet, we could penetrate the canopy and hit the weed down below. If we're using a 3D nozzle, the natural inclination might be to up the pressure to try and blast the spray through the crop. However, if we up the pressure, we can get more fine droplets that tend to stay in the top of the canopy and not hit the weed below. Worse still, they can be lost to drift. Now, Jen, Scott and myself are gonna demonstrate how the right operating pressure and good spray pattern can maximize coverage. Jen is going to play our little weed. Scott, the crop. I, meanwhile, am going to be the sprayer. OK, let's imagine this is a relatively fine 3D nozzle. To get the spray onto the weeds, you could be forgiven for thinking you have to up the pressure. That should do it. <laughs> Whilst you can see Scott, our crop, is really quite wet, Jen, our little weed, is quite dry. So now we're going to use a coarser droplet and drop the pressure. As you can see, with lower pressure and coarser droplets, we can hit the weed. And we adjust the angle of touch. Bang on target. So there we have it. The weed is nice and wet. Science at its best. So in summary, what have we learned? Understand the implications of crop and weed size and be prepared to adapt. When crop and weed size are similar, use a 3D nozzle. In compromised conditions, consider an Amistar nozzle. Later in the season, when the crop and weed size is different, consider using a coarser droplet, such as an Amistar nozzle. And remember, keep the pressure at an optimum of two to two and a half bar. Follow these steps and you'll do a much better job of hitting your weeds. For more information, go to syngenta.co.uk.